I don't think Idris accepts roles that aren't sexy. He uh-huh. even made that very creepy role in Cats kind of sexy, where I was like, why are we hot for this cat man? What I love about Greg Daniels is he's not afraid to make changes between, you know, after season one. And I'm curious from your perspective, what was the biggest change in terms of the show between season one and season two, but also for your character? And in your opinion, did they change in any way? I think uh, for me as as an as an actor and as a character, season one, I was very removed from everyone else and like the whole, I don't know, it was like I was Mark's home life and that was it. And season two, he kind of brought his home life to work, to the workplace. So I was much... I got to actually, you know, be in the Space Force in some way and, and interact with all these different characters. And um, as like an actor, I, I, there was just more room to to play. There was like a camar- camaraderie and we could improvise a little bit more. There was more wiggle room. There was like a larger margin for error. It, it, it was really, it was very freeing. It was a very freeing um, uh, ex- shift from season one to two. Yeah, I think uh, this was something we we're intensely definitely trying to do from writers from two, you know, Ken Kwapis director to all of us actor. It's first season, it's quite grand. Everything is about, you know, an attack, a, a this, a that, you know, Space Force versus something. So season two, we really want to make it more intimate uh, almost family and workplace comedy. It's about more character growth. That really, it's what audience want to see and care about. And just let these amazing actors do what 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 they do. You know, like we have such a great cast. Let's let each other interact and play with each other. And um, I, I had a great time uh, season two as an actor uh, to be able to play with everyone. Yes, I feel like for Angela, you know, she's gone through such a wild adventure. She's been literally shot in a rocket to the moon, then got stuck on the moon for a period of time. So, you know, there's no way to just kind of bring this character back and be like, okay, time to go grocery shopping and just live your normal life. Um, so I feel like the, the writers and Greg handled it really well and being really honest about the inner turmoil she was dealing with, trying to figure out what she wants. So I think the changes that we just heard from her a lot more, we heard like, you know, some of her inner workings and idiosyncrasies got to come out. And that's of course fun to play. It's always fun to play somebody with a little bit of damage. You wanna you wanna play someone slightly more damaged than yourself. That's the acting sweet spot. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Tani, are you a drummer or did you have to learn? I am. Yeah, I've been drumming like uh, I've been drumming badly for like eight years and probably I've been drumming well for maybe three years now. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, ben, same question for you. Not the um, drum. I think one of the big. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't really drum that much. Uh, so uh, I think that the, the biggest push this season was to have more of an ensemble, to focus more on comedy. You could see it from the writers' room, and then in the way they let us play a little bit more, and let us improvise a little bit more, and let us use the space that we have with each other. So I was really happy with that. And in terms of my character, I think you get to see his father. You get to see what Steve Carell looks like, or Mark Nair looks like for him as a father figure. And I get to, you get to see him try to do his job well and succeed, which I think is important because I think all of us are good at our jobs. We wouldn't be at Space Force unless all of us were very good at what we did. So I think it's lovely to actually see, you know, even if it's a a tiny version of success, to see a version of success from these characters. Well, Tony's king of his phone. So uh, of the four of you, who would you let post on your social media accounts on your behalf for an entire week? Whoa, wow. (laughs) Wow. Hard hitting question. I, wow. I'm just going to say I would have to let Diana just by default. She's the youngest, so therefore the most hip. And mm-hmm. so I feel like True. anything she does, I'd just be like, yeah, we're posting crosswalks now. This generation, they know where it's at, you know? Yeah, she knew I'll about some TikTok trends. We did a TikTok dance yeah. together, you know? Jimmy, that was your don't favorite. out me. I, I, that's not outing. That's uh, that's pumping you up. I wanted to TikTok. do the TikTok. I just knew which one to do because <laughs> one of my roommates liked TikTok. Right, I'm the one with the TikTok account, and she knows the dances, so. Because you have a roommate. This makes you hip. Oh, that if I have was, a roommate? Yeah, okay, if it was cast, and, if it was cast on the four, I'd let Don Lake do it, and I'd, I'd ask him to post pictures of his dogs the entire time. <laughs> yep, that is, that is actually the correct answer. That is the yes. only answer any of us should accept and say. <laughs> It makes you guys feel better. I spend way too much time on TikTok, so there you go. (laughs) Um, What is the number one question from season one that you really wanted answered this season? Like, does anyone know, does anyone actually know why Maggie's in prison? Like, do you guys know behind the scenes? It's a big mystery. It's a big secret. What's the biggest theory that you have? She was training 
exotic bees, the Russian government. It's really that simple. And I feel like I would know. I mean, I'm the daughter, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Why are why are we we should take this at face value? I think that's the right phrase. I don't actually know what that means. <laughs> Is there anybody that your character you feel like you didn't really get to interact with in season one that you're really excited for fans to see your kind of dynamic together in season two? Jimmy, you're nodding. Do you have one in mind? Oh, I think everyone, you know, season one was a lot of me and Tawny and and this year, you know, me and Ben's bromance even gets to grow a little bit and uh, really form a, a nice duo there. Um, and also, you know, Diana coming into the fold, that was super fun to play with. And and of course, uh, John, always a pleasure to work with and, and Steve. And I still wish I had more scenes with Don Lake. You know, he is just so great. Backs me up. Mm-hmm. So so it's great that he is a series regular this year now and, and coming in the fold. So it's it, it just great to kind of play with everyone this year. Now, I would love for you guys to settle, settle a internet debate with me that I've been um, enthralled in, and it kind of involves Ben Schwartz. Um, is Knuckles from Sonic 2 sexy? Mm. Oh, and this is the right question to ask this group. He's not. Idris Elba, right? <laughs> Idris, Elba, Idris Elba voices the echidna Knuckles. That's correct. So, so with okay, just okay. that information, Tony, do you think Knuckles is sexy? Yeah, because I don't think Idris accepts roles that aren't sexy. He uh-huh. even made that very creepy role in Cats kind of sexy, where I was like, why are we hot for this cat man? So <laughs> just by the fact that they cast him, yes. Yeah, yes. that's a badass. He, he's red. He's cool. He, he's, he's a rebel, man. You know, I, I've always liked that character even in the games, you know. So. He's a bad boy, Ash. He's Aren't a bad fully boy. fully back Connie's theory. <laughs> Idris hasn't taken no uggos. Idris don't take no uggo parts these days. So, you know. He can't. Thank he you. Can't. Yeah, even Thank if they're like animated, he just like, he's like, he oozes coolness in a way that like, he he can't embody anything other than cool no. and hot. Idris Elba taking an ugly role would take the amount of prosthetics that Jared Leto went through for House of Gucci. And even <laughs> even for animation, like if, even an anima- for animation, he has to go yeah. through full prosthetics yeah. just to mm-hmm. voice. Mm-hmm. That's correct. Okay, okay. No, These I are all that. correct statements. Uh, I love it. Thank you, guys. I came here to be validated, and I got it. Um, <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so I, I got to head out soon. So lastly, what is uh, just uh, three words you would use to describe season two of Space Force? Something you want fans to know. Hilarious. Nice. Keep going. You have two more, Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> we don't have to share them. Uh, a hilarious cast. Yeah, one more. Is that, is that, can I do phrases? Yeah, sure. And uh, uh, Steve Carell being Steve Carell. That's that's pretty. That's that's pretty good. That's five. That's five. Which is the reason to watch? I mean, it's amazing. And John Malkovich. It's just yeah. being John Steve. <laughs> it's oh, Steve wow. Carell being John Malkovich. That's- I would say. Funny space ensemble. I like that. Yeah, that's better. Just cut out my part, please. That was my- <laughs> <laughs>